Hey everybody, I'm Doug. Uh, I posted an earlier video about routine maintenance, kind of lightweight cleaning of your caps. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the deep clean and when you sometimes need to do that with your caps. You will notice the cap in this video is pretty beat up and wrinkled. That's because I've had it a long time and basically used it for all sorts of projects and it's gotten pretty dirty, uh, everything from dirt to grease and oil. I've managed to keep it fairly clean and when I first got it I probably brought a size too big so it also shows the wear and tear from some bad experiments in terms of trying to shrink the cap. Um, so bear with me, uh, it makes a great cap to demo these cleaning techniques so that's why I use it throughout the video. Quick rundown of the tools that you will need to clean your cap. Um, I always have handy a bucket which is about size to fit the crown of the cap. Uh, in case you need to dip that and expose it to a lot of water at once, kind of soak it a little bit. Um, but that bucket is also used for whatever you put your uh, warm, uh, soapy water into. Um, that's what I'm going to recommend. I'll show you that in a second. And then uh, one quick note while I'm on that topic is I almost never get the visor of the cap completely soaked. I try and avoid that like crazy. Um, I try and do all the cleaning on the visor on the surface. Um, because, you know, whether, whatever the interior material of the visor is, uh, they just never seem quite the same once you've got them all the way wet. So I try and avoid that, like, at all costs. So, um, and then when it comes to cleaning the cap uh, fabric, um, you're going to need some brushes. These are a couple of different examples. Um, whatever you do, just make sure you're, you're getting some of the softer bristles that are available. You want soft brushes generally. Um, you don't want anything that's too abrasive or damaging to the cap. Old toothbrushes work great for this. They don't cover much area at a time, but uh, they can help you out with that. Then the other thing for soft surfaces is I always have a good supply of rags around. Um, a lot of times these are just old cut up t-shirts that I no longer wear, just cut them into squares. Um, that's perfect and you can use the solution on it as well. Um, and then uh, this is a felt hat cleaning sponge that I showed in the uh, routine maintenance video. This also works for a little bit of deep cleaning assistance because you can uh, dip this in the water and it's just like a, a regular sponge. So this is kind of a nice thing to have around too. So there you go. A couple of cleaning products that you're going to want to have on hand for the deep clean. Uh, first is what I like to use is standard dish soap. This is, uh, happens to be palm olive with an oxy component, um, which uh, is advertised to help with degreasing. So I think this should be a good one. In the past, I've had success with uh, dish soaps that have citrus, uh, some sort of lemon in them. That definitely is a natural way to cut grease and things like that and cut dirt. So that's a good one as well. Uh, and this will go into the bucket that I mentioned to you earlier when you make a solution with uh, a little bit of the soap and some warm water. Uh, second is, this is kind of a degreaser. Um, it actually helps you get stuck nuts and bolts apart. It's kind of like one of those oils that you can spray in that. But the amazing thing is it's plant-based and it's called Superzilla. Um, you can get it online. I got it at my local hardware store. But this is kind of nice for removing grease and oil and kind of those uh, industrial type things. If forever, for whatever reason, you get some of that on a cap, um, this can be really good for deep clean, especially, I would say, the logo. Um, we're gonna give this a try on a cap, um, on a logo where I got some ground in dirt. We'll see if that works too. So a couple of good products to have in, on hand for the deep clean of your caps. Okay, so all I'm gonna do here, um, I'm over at slop sink, laundry sink, you can also use a kitchen sink as long as you've got your bucket close by. Um, I'm really just going to fill this up with a little bit of warm water and add some of the palm olive just until you get a little soapy solution there. And you probably don't need that much. But after that, I'm just going to move this out of the way. And depending on how dirty your cap is, um, this one again has been cleaned pretty regularly, so it's uh, not too bad, um, but uh, if I were really cleaning this, I'd probably hit this with a little bit of water as well. And again, keep the visor dry as much as you can. And after that, it's just a matter of soaking a little bit and then 
progressing through the different tools that you have for cleaning. So softest surface is a cut up t-shirt. If you just got things like sweat stains, all you got to do is kind of rub the fabric panels until you get a little bit of the suds action there. See that? And then if I had more ground in dirt, I might actually go to a sponge that's got a little bit more of an edge to clean that. Um, and then last is, again, you'd have a, a bristled brush, but you'd want it to be a soft bristle because, again, we're trying to take care of this. And whenever you're cleaning, there's two things I always avoid. That is the visor and the logo. I never want to get the visor wet and the logo has that delicate embroidery. Same with the MLB or New Era logo if there is one here. You want to kind of avoid that with the brushes. So be very careful when you're doing the brushes. But other than that, I'm really just trying to soap this up, get it soaked, and if there were some serious dirt somewhere, I'd really work on those areas. So really, this is all you're doing. It's really simple. It's like hand washing clothes. That's all you got to do. After you're done cleaning, this is why I have the bucket near the sink because you just really want to um, rinse this off. You can get a clean rag if you want, but um, this is all I'm trying to do is get the soap, hopefully take the dirt with it, and again, try and avoid getting the visor wet. Sometimes I'll hold the visor with an extra towel so that it soaks up any overspray or anything like that, but that's all you're trying to do is just get this clean again and uh, you can take a clean cloth and wipe that off to get the rest of the soap off. I mentioned the bucket. Make sure you got something big enough where you can sink the crown in. I could have simply just run some water through this or maybe fill that up to the top um, with soapy water and then submerge the whole crown. Again, I'm just using the visor to manage the cap. Um, and then it also works if you want to dump out the soapy water out of the bucket and use that as your rinse. You can refill it with clean water and then kind of submerge the whole crown of the cap. So that's another way to do it uh, besides the way that I showed, but that's what comes in handy when you got a bucket that's sized about the same size as your cap. What I like to do with a visor is if something's uh, um, kind of ground in or there's a lot of soiled surface there is again, I'll go back to my t-shirt get a, just a little bit of soapy water on it, wring it out really well, and then just kind of, um, it's almost like just getting a little bit of moisture on there to clean it. Um, I do that top and bottom. And then the other thing you can do is if you find some, uh, again, some wipes, like some wet wipes or something like that, you can try and get the surface dirt off of your visor with that. But the overall thing that you can do is kind of blot it with a towel. Um, the other thing that is really important is if you have especially a wool cap, but basically any cap, um, you guys know I stretch my caps with a hat jack. One of the things is when these caps are drying, especially if it's wool, they have a tendency to draw up so the fabric tightens a little bit. So one of the things that I found can be really helpful is uh, placing a little um, a towel inside the cap that will soak up the excess, excess moisture. Um, this could be the same towel that you're handling with the visor um, when you're cleaning it, but you can, uh, you can stuff this in and maybe keep a little bit of the form of the cap, but then insert your hat jack as normal. So, so basically, you just want to get some kind of form for the hat shape to follow. And I'll just crank this open a little bit so you can see this. Um, but really, this is just what you can do while the cap's drying and you can stuff that towel up in there and that should help both draw the moisture out of the body of the cap that you got into the cap when you're washing it, um, but also the hat jack will keep the, the headband expanded, the sweatband expanded, and it'll keep the overall form of the cap so that you can avoid some of the wrinkles. So here I've got a logo on this cap that's got some ground in dirt. You can see it there. I'll throw a photo up on the screen. But basically I'm going to take this uh, Superzilla product, this degreaser that I've used before. First I'm just going to soak a little bit of a, um, an old t-shirt here. And then see how far I can get with that. So I'm just going to come in the direction of the embroidery. And it seems as though it's not able to get much in there. 
We're going to try this again. I'm going to go direct with the material on the embroidery, just a little bit. Soak that a little bit, and then use a clean area of the rag to remove that dirt. So we'll see how that goes. But I think you got to be very careful with cleaning any sort of logos. Um, because that embroidery, if you pull and stick, you want to keep going in the direction of the thread the way it is, as I'm kind of doing right here. And it does seem that I'm getting a little bit of the dirt out of there. After this is the result, I actually only used the cloth and a couple more sprays of the Superzilla. And it did seem to have a pretty good effect here because um, this area of the cap where there was some ground in dirt, I just kept rubbing with the cotton cloth, trying not to disturb the threads in here. And I actually had some pretty good success in this area. So I'm gonna clean up some of the finer areas, but in general, I think this is quite a bit better. So the other cap is drying, and uh, the one thing I didn't note um, a lot during the soapy water, kind of cleaning the outside of the cap, is that you should feel free to go to the inside as well on some of these fabric panels. Um, again, the, the bottom line is you're just trying to keep away from the visor, but if you need to get some water here on the inside of the buckram, inside panels of the cap, you can do that as well. Um, and the other thing, I've got this sitting here, these disinfectant wipes. In the routine maintenance videos, I say these are great for uh, keeping the odors down in the sweatband and just kind of freshening this area. Um, I would recommend that as, as well for part of your deep cleaning because after you've kind of cleaned off the exterior of the cap, you're still going to want to get in um, and do a little bit of that on the sweatband. And I would even say you can go so far as to kind of flip the sweatband out of the cap and get both sides so you can get some good um, depth of the cleaning. Um, again, these, I happen to have Clorox. I've never had a problem, even though they're bleach, I've never had a problem with them discoloring like the black sweatband or anything like that. But I do tend just to be safe to keep that action to the inside of the cap. Um, but these are great for keeping things disinfectant, keeping the order, odors down. Um, and so if you wanted to do the cleaning on the panels of the cap and then hit the sweatband with these, that's a great technique um, for getting the inside clean. So. Uh, hopefully that helps you preserve your caps, um, keep them clean for a long while to come. So hopefully you got something out of that. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.